we as Americans must stand together to reject this anti-freedom culture of political retaliation and abuse of power. The political landscape is making some shifty moves in 2024. Over the past few days, two former presidential candidates for the Democrat Party have come out and openly endorsed Donald Trump for president. It started with RFK Jr. just a few days ago, and now today, Tulsi Gabbard. And this is a trend that we're seeing not just at the high levels of politics, but at the low levels of politics as well. I myself used to work for the Democrat Party back in 2021 and 2022 before realizing what kind of policies they were really implementing, what they were advocating for, and the absolute mess of propaganda that they're pushing. This is less a Democrat versus Republican going into the 2024 election and more good versus evil what America really stands for, and a corrupt authoritarian government that the Democrats have pretty much put together. Now, if you don't know who Tulsi Gabbard is, let me show you a clip of Donald Trump introducing her. And hey, before we get into things, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And today I'm honored to officially welcome another true American patriot, a 17-year veteran of the Hawaii Army National Guard a four-term Democrat congresswoman, very, very popular, the former vice chair of the National Democratic Party and a 2020 Democrat candidate for the United States presidency. You know, uh, she was uh, a very good candidate. Every time she ran, she was good. She did well. She decided to leave. She couldn't take it anymore, but she is uh, very special. And I didn't know this, but she was a lieutenant colonel. That's not bad. Lieutenant colonel. Not bad. I didn't know that. You know, I just found out. I said, put it down. You got to put that down. That's bigger. That's better than all the other stuff I read. But no, she's a special person. She's got great common sense, great spirit. She loves our country, and she loves the people in this room. Tulsi Gabbard. Okay, Tulsi, please. please. Talk about an unexpected team up. Now let's get into what Tulsi Gabbard actually had to say and the reason that she's denouncing the Democrat Party, formally backing Donald Trump, and will likely, very likely, have a spot on the cabinet in some capacity. We as Americans must stand together to reject this anti-freedom culture of political retaliation and abuse of power. Mm-hmm. We can't allow our country to be destroyed by politicians who will put their own power ahead of the interests of the American people, our freedom, and our future. I am proud to stand here before you today, whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, or an Independent, if you love our country, as I do, if you cherish peace and freedom as we do. I invite you to join me in doing all that we can to save our country and elect President Donald J. Trump and send him back to the White House to do the tough work of saving our country and serving the people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. You know, for all the corrupt mainstream propaganda that we see from CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, you name it, all of them are constantly saying how radical and extreme Donald Trump is. Yet two very big names in the Democrat Party very recently just denounced the entire Democrat platform and the party and united with Donald Trump. If he was really that radical and insane, and a Nazi, and like Hitler. Do you really think that these people would be flipping sides to go and support him? Obviously not. No, Donald Trump is building a ticket of unity, a ticket for what he hopes to see as a successful future of America. How many Republicans are flipping sides to join the Democrat Party? They probably wouldn't even be true Republicans, to be honest, because the Democrat Party has just gone so far left. They are radical. Their ideologies are radical. The policies they implement, they're detrimental to America. I think we're going to be seeing more and more of this as we get closer and closer to the election, whether it be from common, everyday people like you and me, or from big name players like Tulsi Gabbard 
and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Have you noticed a similar trend happening around you, whether it be in your personal life or in your social media bubble or in any capacity whatsoever? Let me know down in the comments. I'm interested to know because I follow this stuff pretty closely and I've personally transitioned from not supporting Trump to supporting Trump. So I'm just kind of, sometimes I feel like I'm in my own kind of bubble. So it's nice to hear the perspectives of others. Anyways, I got some Vote Trump merch. If that interests you at all, check out the links in the description below. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.